guys, C Max signing in and welcome to another FIFA 17 video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys ways you can make coins off the web app easy. Some of the things I'm going to talk about in this video are things you've been able to do in previous FIFAs, but I'm pretty sure they'll work on FIFA 17 as well. So for people who might be newcomers to the game, that can help you out. And there will also be some additional new things I'll talk about. So if you do go on to enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like as that would be very much appreciated. If we're going to 150 plus likes, that would be awesome. Now we all know how hard at the start of a new FIFA it can actually be to build up your coins, trade or even make the most of the web app which is one of the main reasons I'm making this video. Now actually getting into the first method you can use to make yourself coins easily on the web app, it's the free gift method. Now you're probably thinking well how does that work? Now for you guys that have been playing FIFA Ultimate Team for a while you know on the web app every year we're pretty much given free daily gifts for give or take the first month meaning that you actually have things you can use in the game, things you can sell off and things that will allow you to build up coins on your account. Now this is the first way of making coins. I mean if you come on every day onto the web app you get yourself free coins maybe a free pack in which you can sell what you get in the pack and get free coins and pretty much it's a very effective method the only thing is to make the most of this you have to make sure that you're going on the web app every day because if you miss a day you pretty much miss a free gift now that's the first method which most of you guys probably know now the second method is pretty much linked to the first one and what you do here is create more accounts for most of you guys out there you've done this in the past so you probably have more accounts to use all that's required for you to do is to log on to those accounts every day and you also get free gifts on those accounts now ea do this every year and you will always get the free gifts whether it's coins whether it's gold packs whether it's both at the end of the day you're getting coins added to your account which you could use for various things in terms of the second method if you're opening these gifts in multiple accounts what you can then do is transfer them to your main account or the account you want to actually use to build squads trade with and that's pretty simple to do all that requires you doing is once you have these gifts once you have these coins and the other accounts pretty much list something from your main account buy it with your secondary account and boom the coins have gone from the secondary account to your main account so yeah opening all these multiple gifts and separate accounts will actually help you a lot a good example of how this might work let's say you have seven different accounts and on all those seven different accounts you open and you're given a thousand coins free if you then list up six different things for 1000 coins on your main account you can buy them each for 1000 coins from your separate account and then on your main account you have 7000 coins i mean it might be slightly less because of ea tax but you get what i mean it's another method i'm sure a lot of you might already know but for those who are new to fifa 17 or for those who don't know about it hopefully it's a little trick that can allow you to make yourself more coins and the next method i have for you guys pretty much involves buying high rated players that are selling close to their start price so for example you might have a player like marco royce with the start price of maybe 20 30k if you somehow manage to get yourself up to 20 30k coins and you can afford them i'll say buy him straight away because chances are there ain't going to be a lot of people to outbid you and once you win this player if you wait till the full release of the game you're going to sell this player for pretty much nearly double the amount you bought him for maybe even triple this method is crazy and trust me guys it'll work all you have to do with this is pretty much keep an eye on the market for those high rated players selling for low because once again on the web app not a lot of people have a lot of coins to try and outbid you so if you can stock up on these players on the full release of the game you will make yourself easy profit and it's probably the simplest way of trading and making yourself easy coins on the web app now one of the main things people do on the web app is trading trading is a big thing trading gets people from 10k to 100 100k coins and everyone has different methods of how they trade how they make coins so i'm just going to share with you guys what i'm planning to do my thoughts around it and why i think it works now in terms of players i would say to trade with there's four main ones i'm going to be going for myself and that's rashford marshall sane and bellerin now you guys are probably thinking why have i chose these players first of all rashford's going to be quite a cheap player on the web app a lot of people won't have played with him and because of his rating he'll be fairly cheap compared to what his price will be when the full game is out and and I mean, even if he's like, let's say 2, 3k on the web app, I'm pretty sure once the full game is out, we're we'll going for around about 5, 6k coins. First of all, because he's a BPL player. And second of all, because he's a new United player with 90 pace. I mean, the demand for a player like that once the full game is out is going to be high. And that's why I think he's going to be a good player to trade with. So yeah, if you find yourself a Rashford on the market, cheap Rashford, buy him, save him to the full release of the game. And boom, you can make yourself some easy coins. As for Marshalls, pretty much the same principle 
principle but the only difference with Marshall is he's probably going to be going for quite a bit more than Rashford but if you manage to build yourself up a nice amount of coins on the web app I'll say Marshall is another player to buy mainly because he's had that pace upgrade he's now got 91 pace so on the web app he will probably be going for quite a bit but trust me guys it'll be nothing in comparison to what he'll be going for when the full game is out next we have Sane who actually be one of the fastest right mids in the BPL so the demand for him is going to be fairly high when the game comes out and on the web app he's not going to be going for that much mainly because he's a 79 rated player so people aren't going to sell him off for too much obviously as he's got 91 pace once the game is out price will jump up mainly because everyone likes using pacey players at the start of the game so you'll probably be able to make a bit of profit on him he's one of those players that will probably drop again in price after the first couple of weeks or so finally we're Bellerin and the main reason I've put Bellerin on the list is because he'll be the fastest right back in the BPL and because the BPL is one of the big leagues everyone's going to be pretty much trying to create BPL squads at the start a lot of people want him as their right back but because of that on the release of the game his price will skyrocket but in comparison to what it'll go on on the web app I don't think he'll be as high priced as he will be when the game is out so if you can buy yourself a Bellerin on the web app it'll pay off later on when the full game comes out and yeah you can make yourself some easy coins there as well now that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk to you guys about this video so if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like as that would be very much appreciated if we need 150 plus likes that would be amazing try to give you guys a few tips and tricks on how to pretty much make yourself coins on the web app easily because we all know how hard that can be at the start of a new fifa and yeah if you're going to try out anything that i've mentioned in this video on the web app let me know down in the comment section let other people know how it worked for you guys because yeah that's what we do on this channel you know we help each other out if you are new don't forget to subscribe as that would be very much appreciated as well that's about it from me today guys hope you enjoyed this video this is T-Max signing out thanks for watching guys and see ya